What's going on everybody? Welcome back to G-Maya's World and today we're going to be looking at the 99 Grunk and the 99 Ronnie Lock. I need you guys to go ahead and write the number 4 in the comment section if you already know how we obtain these cards for free utilizing our power passes. Hopefully you guys have also received your two 99 overall power passes. Um, I've put out so much information about it. A lot of you guys have gotten it. Some of you guys had the cards before I did because remember when you use the power up pass you get the card before it's actually in the game because they put it in game through the power up way before, well not way before, but maybe like 10, 15 minutes before it actually goes live with its individual card. So you have an opportunity to do that. So I just wanted to give you guys some insight on what's going on. A lot of you guys tweeted at me like, yo, we already know GMI going out there with Gronkowski. The crazy part about it is I didn't utilize him the way I should have uh, during this past weekend league and it cost me a game. So we were unfortunately not able to get the 25 and 0. We're still chasing it. Um, you know, we've been doing a lot of 24 and ones. I know it doesn't cut it, you guys, bro. Yeah, you guys want to know? I gave the dude my, you know, my mom's no, no, it wasn't her number. I gave her, I gave him, I gave him her email. The dude didn't earn the number because the way he, the way he beat me over the top to win the game was kind of ridiculous. But I've kind of adjusted to that. I'm gonna give you guys some insight into that as well uh, because certain players don't play over the top the way they're supposed to as far as the safety position goes. Um, but in this gameplay right here, just getting back to this right here, uh, Ronnie Lott is going to actually be playing corner for us. I don't need him at the free safety position because Calvin Johnson has that locked down. So for this video right here, we're actually going to have Taylor Mays with the ability. We're going to have Warren Sapp and Lawrence Taylor. Now for this gameplay, I want to make sure everybody understands. Out of my way, uh, it worked for a couple games and then it went back to just being straight garbage. So I'm going to ask you guys to go ahead and remove that from your abilities. Uh, in this gameplay, I actively have it on, but that also cost me um, some big, big plays uh, in the weekend league this past weekend because uh, people are still able to ID those players and take their legs out. So it's not a guarantee that the player is going to keep his legs uh, when they're ID'd. So I just wanted to make sure everybody was aware of that. I want to keep you guys you know, up to date with what I'm doing uh, because everything, I can't really document everything as it's going on. So it's kind of tough, but um, I always try my best to make sure right here, we're just getting like, oh, okay. I, yo, all right, whatever dog, you know what I'm saying? Go for six then. You, okay, look bro, you, you know what bro? All right, who, I, yo, everybody that was part of that play, I want to get rid of all of them. Low key, a lot of you guys are already starting the raid cell rumors about a lot of these players. And I'm going to tell you something, I've been looking at the comments, man. You guys, you guys are right about a lot of things. A lot of dudes are going to get raid sold because dudes think they could come out and give up seven points on the first play of the game like it's okay. It's not okay, bro. It's just not okay. And guess what? I'm going to be in the locker room this time, bro. I'm just coming straight nude, bro. Like, yo, what's good? Like, yo, what's up? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, forget, forget the Winnie the Pooh. Dudes are giving up plays just like that. Like, what are you doing? And you know what's weird about that? I could have actually just strafed and conservative tackled right there. I don't know what I was doing. I honestly didn't know what I was doing, but I get, again, this is weekend league, right? So anything goes. Pretty much dudes come out with wild schemes and they do whatever they want and you just gotta deal with it. And you guys can also see right there, um, we still have Walter Payton with abilities. That has also changed. We didn't raid sell Walter Payton, but we took the abilities off of him and gave it back to Barry because it just, it, it just makes sense to let Barry Sanders do his thing and then we play Walter without his abilities. Now, if you guys feel like how I feel about it, where you know the dude just keeps fumbling every game, because he was averaging at least one fumble a game for me. If you guys want to raid sell him, you I just don't know who you're gonna get. Like who else is gonna be there for you to actually make those plays? I'm not sure if there's any other running back that's gonna be able to do it. Right here we get called for holding. All right, cool. Yo, bro, who was it? Let me know who the, let me know who the guy was. Who was it? Oh, Calvin Johnson. All right, cool. All right, dude's off limits. All right. Whatever, whatever. Let, let's shot. Bro, I'm like, I didn't see it. Everybody in the locker room was like, yo, bro, you let Kelvin get away with everything. Yeah, I know. I do. But I'll go down to the last man on the roster that we don't use, and I'll fire him as an example. Like, whatever. Calvin knows this, that he's not going anywhere. Grunt, catch that. All right, good. You can't do it in double coverage? Let me know. Cool, bro. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's what the viewers are here for, Grunk. So if you can't do it, let you know. send me a text, and then we can go ahead and work it out together as men, bro. Because I don't know what exactly he's doing, but we're going to go ahead and take out three right there. And we got to go ahead and revamp the defense because I played like six or no, no, maybe seven or eight sweaties. Now, some of the games I streamed on Twitch, I was trying to actively stream on YouTube and something's going on um, with my uh, system here. I'm going to have to figure it out and try to get uh, the YouTube streams back up and running. I'm going to keep trying every day until we fix it. Might have to holler at Elgato and uh, get them on the line. Like, yo, what's good? Like, I don't know what this is about and we'll figure all that stuff out. But um, 
you know, I'm going to definitely get a YouTube stream going very, very soon. Uh, one of these days, actually, as soon as I get a chance, I'm going to actually just try to like randomly log in. All right. So who just got juked out? I need you guys to help me out. Who was the person that got juked out? Because I, I, I was over here looking at something else while that was happening. Just give me just do me a favor and snitch and let me know who that guy was that got juked. He'll be going effective immediately. It might have been Palomalu. It might have been Golden Ticket Palomalu. I'm not sure. I do like the way his hair looks. You know what I'm saying, bro? The dude use heads and uh, head and shoulders, and the dude's you know hair be bouncing around, looking crazy. But he might have to get raid. So this dude is really running around with Ronnie Lott, like, like he he really thinks it's a thing. Ronnie Lott might be a okay. Okay, I got sacked. Was, so two guys are standing there, and they let the guy just come right in and hit me anyway. So he has abilities on two of his guys. That guy just okay. One, two, and then one. Okay, I see what he's doing. All right, it makes sense now. He they're just letting him scream. He's sending four and just dropping back and putting everybody in coverage because he feels that he could cover me that way. That's fine though. He's gonna he, he's gonna get what's coming to him. He's gonna get moss. Why is everybody getting juked and spun and all kind of weird stuff? Like what is this? What 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 are they doing? Oh, I, I remember now. I had it on aggressive tackling. That's why, okay, that's why everybody's getting juked and acting like idiots. And then Ronnie Lott is at corner. I want you guys to pay attention to him as well. He's over there playing corner and he he's gonna get slanted out of his mind. Now remember, with the way the slants work, Okay, yo, Calvin, take care of that for me real quick. With the way the slants work, you gotta understand, you're gonna need to press to throw off the timing. Now, whether you go man to man or you do it in any other fashion that you want to, it doesn't really matter. Moss this idiot, go for six. Oh, oh, okay, Grunk. All right, you wanna play games with me? Okay, you, okay, Byron Jones all of a sudden is getting off the block. He never did that for me. Byron Jones literally never did that for me, but you know, whatever, he's gonna do it now though, I guess. All right, go for six, go for six real quick. All right, so let's go ahead and get this done real quick. This guy's doing what he has to do. Uh, we have to go ahead and revamp defensively because he's just throwing slants every play. Like, he really made me have to change. Look, oh, look at Palomalo. I, I, I don't understand, man. I don't understand that. He's a golden ticket card, bro. And they wouldn't let him jump to pick that because he doesn't have Lurker. He just throws the ball right at a guy that's a golden ticket. He just throws it there. No concern about anything. Look, he's about to get sacked. He's just throwing the slant. Yo, this, this kid, like, he was... Okay, that was about to be a pick. Nobody wanted to pick it, though. Yeah, this game was absolutely wild, bro. And that's what I'm trying to tell you. Like, these are the games that you guys miss because I was trying to stream some of these games. And like I said, I was, if you guys follow me on Twitter, I let you guys know what was going on. It was like really, really wild. All right, there we go, Grunk. Now go Grunk spike it real quick. Go Grunk spike it. Let's go. Let's do this, man. I, I don't even know, man. I, re I really don't know. Okay, he just... Okay, Palomalo, you came right in on that. What, what defense was that? I don't know what that was right there. Dude, screen. Okay, he's going to go back to throwing slants. I don't know why Night Train was doing that. But again, listen, guys. When I felt like stopping this, I had to come out and run nickel. What happens is this, right? I can stop it out of the defenses that I run, but the thing about it is I have to do a lot of adjustments. And then once the adjustment starts going, like right here, you see like everybody's in coverage, he still throws it. LT at least makes an attempt to put his arm out. That's what happens. You know what I'm saying? Like when they start doing stuff like that and you play coverage, it throws off everything. So if I, okay, he just goes right there and goes, like throws a slant on fourth and eight. He, he, bro, this guy was just, he just wanted to throw slants. He didn't care what was going on in the world. He didn't care that he was still wearing the same underwear for seven weeks. He wanted to go ahead and make sure that he was throwing a slant. And I, I don't understand it, bro. Look at this idiot. Okay, so he has a double team on that side. What is he doing over there? All right, we'll go this way. All right, what's that? Who's over there? All right, he tried to catch it. They gave him an animation. I don't know what that was, though. Oh, we had the end route right there? All right, oh, it's four guys on that dude. Bro, you know what's you know what's funny? Madden 16, he would have caught that. He would have probably did like an OBJ one-hander. You guys know what I'm talking about? Like, yo, I still wake up in cold sweats off Madden 16, bro. Like those dudes had people. Listen, the dude would do the OBJ catch for no reason at all. All right, go for six, Walter. Even though we took your abilities off, go for six though. Go for six. All right, yeah, run right into somebody else. Who was that? Where did he come from? It's just a random guy running super fast on the other side of the field. That doesn't even make any sense, dude. How is, this, how is it just a random guy running super fast on that side? Like, okay, look at Ronnie Lott just running. Well, Ronnie Lott is 99 speed, 99 excel with the right cam, but it, it doesn't even matter. We're going to go ahead and take our field goal because obviously you guys saw that it's a, you know, it's an obvious hell game. Like, that's what's going on right now. Like, you're part of it with me right now. It's an active hell game, and it's something that you guys got to be a part of. Uh, go ahead. go for, Okay, why did he spin right there? He looked like he could have got a lot more yards if he didn't just spin randomly. Look at this guy. Bro, is he on aggressive? Yo, like, how's he not getting called, but they call me, though? Okay, he's back to slants. My man is back to slants. Yo, did I did I start running nickel at this point yet? No, no, I'm still I'm still on my 3-4 being an idiot. All right, cool. I was still on my 3-4 being an idiot. The dude is about to go crazy over the top. Oh, oh, off, off sides. Who's off sides? Show, yo, point him out. Oh, they didn't let me know? All right, cool. Somebody was just off sides randomly. 
and I was still on aggressive tackling, so everybody's getting like, you know, ridiculous things. He just, th bro, this guy was just throwing the football anywhere. He did not care. He was just hiking it and throwing it anywhere, bro. I'm telling you right now, these these kind of dudes right here, like, oh my God. Yo, you really have to just play cover two and just sit there and like, you know, let them, let them beat you if they're gonna beat you. Cause he's just gonna hike it and throw it. Even if the defender's right there, he's gonna hike it and throw a slant. And slants have been a problem in Madden for a while because the way the corners play, they don't, like the last time that you could really like defend a slant, in my opinion, like really solidly was maybe like Madden 10. Like you would put somebody on somebody, bro, and they weren't just getting off and just running around, running slants like it was simple. If you press somebody, they got pressed. You know what I'm saying? Like they wouldn't just be, do, be able to do whatever they want. This gentleman right here, bro, like he, he did not care about anything. All right. Okay. So he, who's that? Saquon? Saquon, you don't want to go for six? Look at these. Oh, okay. I, t I took the wrong, I took the wrong angle. I took the wrong angle on that, guys. That was supposed to go, that was definitely supposed to go for six without any, like without any problem. All right, right here. Okay, good. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, yep, there we go. All the way, all the way, all the way. Bro, the dude, look, man, maybe he's Superman. Maybe that's Cam. Because he just dove from 95 feet away and tackled me. So I've never seen that in like, like in real life, but it happens a lot in Madden. So I guess it must be real. Oh, okay, go for six then. Yeah, point him out. Go, oh, go for six. Yeah, let's go. Let's get it. Okay, so good. All right, so this dude is doing what he's wanting. All right, whatever. He must be on aggressive tackling also. Because it looks like a, a lot of the tackles was getting broken. My man just, oh my God, good play. That was a good play. I knew eventually he would get me with that streak because, you know what I'm saying, I was bailing on it. And that's why I'm saying, like, in order to stop him completely, you know, I'm going to need to come out and I'm going to have to run my double A gap, which I haven't run in a very, very long time. But it looks like I'm going to have to stop being stubborn, bro. Go for six, though. Go for six, though. Who was that running so fast next to him? Look at how the dude just dove so far, man. We had to hit him with the Michael Jackson spin move. Like, what is going on? How are these, yo, I gotta figure, like, is there is there an ability to make your guy jump that far? Like, how is he doing that? This this game right here, bro, like, it took like at least 77 years off my life. Look at look at this idiot. He, he's sliding to the side, throwing slants. He's just sitting back there comfortably throwing slant routes. Look, every single play the guy's throwing a slant and I just won't defend it. I refuse to defend it. Why was Night Train Lane so far off right there? I don't even know what he was just doing right there. Night Train Lane, what, what are you doing, dude? Like, why, why were you just all the way off? I think, was I pressing? I don't know what I was doing. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, so he has to get in there. He has to get into the end zone right here, so we're not even tripping. Go ahead, yep, run straight ahead. Yep, there you go. Good job, man. I, why was I on Warren Sapp, though? That didn't make any sense. All right, hit stick, but nobody fumbles anymore. Six seconds, go ahead. Go ahead, there you go. Come on, keep doing it, keep doing it. Keep doing it, bro. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Hike the ball, try to do it, try to do an out route real quick. Now, here goes where it gets real fun. Here goes, bro, this this was, this felt so good, man. There's no feeling like this, bro. When a dude comes out with one second and fourth and goal and just runs in with everybody standing there. Palomalu just looked at him run right in. Palomalu is a golden ticket card with 99 play rec, and he just looked at the quarterback right, you know, bro, he just ran right in front of him. Like, this is what goes on in Weekend League, bro. Dudes like this, Bro, like, but it don't, it don't really matter though. Now we got to lock up, it's overtime. So I had to switch my defense up. So he still dots me right there. I don't know how he did it. Shout out to this guy, but we're gonna take we're gonna take care of him accordingly. Cause now I brought out the D to stop all slants. We're gonna hit stick him a couple times, let him go back to his slants and then we'll just lock up. Yeah, go ahead, throw a slant now, throw a slant. Go ahead, man. Cause now I have to play this defense. He's forcing me to play defense like this. I don't want to play D like this. I want to blitz everybody and have a good old time. But the dude wants me to bring out the D. I'm not going to play around in overtime in the weekend league. I got to bring out the D to lock up. You know what I'm saying, bro? But I would rather sack him. But I understand why I was getting dealt with accordingly. Because I wasn't setting the dudes up in the right spots to stop the slant route uh, with the coverages that I was using. Oh, who just hit him like that? That's just a random guy that just hit stick him like that with no abilities? Bro, this, guy, this guy's on aggressive tackling or something? Like what, what's why why are his why are his players so angry? You know what I'm saying? Like hit me like that. That's like that's kind of weird, bro. Like dudes is really out there doing that. I right, call me for holding then, and then hit stick me. Yo, what is who is it? Alex Mack? Yeah, it's it's about time to get rid of that guy. It's about the, okay. Go for six though. Yeah, there we go. Good moves. Good moves right there. All right, so that's field goal status. So that's pretty much for this guy, man. Yeah, we went through it. As far as Grunk, Grunk is solid. Ronnie Lott at corner is not as good as I thought he would be. Uh, to be honest with you, I want to raid sell him, but um, I'm going to wait out and see what's going on. But he would be the first to go. Gronk is going to hang around for a little bit. Um, you know, Golden Ticket Palomalo, that dude's garbage. I hope you guys saw that. Other than that, guys, I want you guys to continue to, you know, you know, be safe. 
Continue to go ahead and support the channel the way you guys have. I really appreciate it. I got so much more gameplay coming for you guys very soon. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. You have an unbelievable day. One love, y'all.